Hi folks, welcome to another stall13.com video. Um, I'm not going to talk about horses per se, but I am. But I just like being around horses, and since we're talking about horses. This is about contracts, rental agreements, um, breeding contracts. You know, it used to be that a handshake, one hand and another, was all that it took, and an agreement was etched in stone forever. Well, that's not the case anymore. Everybody wants to take everybody to court. There's television shows about going to court. How stupid is that? What you need to do is you need to get things down on paper. Whether it's just boarding a horse, uh, whether it's a mare care and stud fee, do they guarantee a live foal on the ground? Are you buying something on payments? Are you leasing a horse? Uh, is someone going to reserve you hay like a farmer or rancher? I'm not really sure, but it should be on paper. And it doesn't have to be attorney. Attorneys don't have to be involved. You just have to, you could use the back of a feed bag. I've done it. You just want a piece of paper. You want it dated. You want what they want and what you want. You want the dollar amount. You want your phone numbers and addresses on it. You want them to sign it. You want you to sign it. And you want one witness to sign it. You've got an ironclad agreement. You make a photocopy so everybody gets one. That's the type of contract. Whatever you need, it should be on it. There is no right or wrong except you have it in writing. If you go to court or if you call an attorney, the first thing they're going to say is, did you make an agreement? Was there a contract? Well, no, there wasn't. And here's the biggest mistake. It's always a friend, a relative, or a co-worker. Someone you know. Someone you trust. They're the ones that are going to screw you on a horse situation. It happens. I'm sorry to tell you. But a piece of paper keeps everybody honest. Not just them, but you as well. It protects everybody. No matter whether you're boarding a horse, renting a horse, buying hay, a stud agreement, selling a horse, I don't know. Whatever the case may be, get it in writing. If someone doesn't want a contract, if they don't want it in writing, don't do it. What would it matter? If they're going to pay you, if you're going to pay them, if their hay is good, if the horse is sound, if they're good breeders and their stud is good and they guarantee a live foal on the ground, who really cares if it's on paper? The only person that isn't going to want to do it is someone whose word isn't worth spit. Pretty simple. This has been another stall13.com video. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your horses.